it look like? Big one. Yeah. And much about having a stutter. I remember the feeling of it feeling quite like blocked and stuck like on my chest. Yeah. But, but, but. Daisy was about four when she started to stutter. She'd try to wait for it to pass. You know, she'd often say the beginning of a word up to 15 times and then look down at her feet very self-consciously. Even at four, it was affecting her confidence and her willingness to go and speak to strangers or ask for something and that was really hard and I think as a mother I felt very guilty. Daisy is now 17 and hasn't let her diagnosis define her. She's a keen public speaker and state debating finalist. With the help of early intervention and speech therapy, her stutter is a distant memory. When I'm a bit tired or a bit nervous, I sometimes stutter and I can feel the kind of block in my chest like I felt when I was little. But I think because of the therapy, it's not a problem at all today. And I feel very confident speaking, especially like in front of people and stuff like that, which I think is really important. And I'm really grateful for the therapy to have like let me have that confidence because otherwise I think it would be really difficult for me. You ready? Hey. <laughs> can I start with an easier word? Okay. But. Excellent. Ask. Nice smooth talking. Well, it. It. Excellent job. Uh, B4. Try that one again smoothly for me. B4. Josh Holdaway is still undergoing treatment for his stutter. Together with mum Karen, he commits hours of his time each week to oral games and therapies like this one. For wrong. Okay, we'll come back to that one. It's hard to speak to people. Yeah, it gets very annoying. Uh, when you're trying to say something, it gets kind of like stuck. If. Good boy. And. Josh was really late. He didn't really start to talk until he was about three, three and a half. He never even really babbled. And it was one of the speech therapists that eventually told us he's left um, tongue muscle didn't develop properly. Um, have. Good work. Uh, first. Go, 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 go. No, OK, try that one again. Go. Excellent correcting. I think I get it, um, my, my uh, self-confidence is I just keep trying and I never give up. And I'm very uh, persistent in the way that I do stuff. And... I think that like the speech therapy has been helpful, but I, I'd like to know how it happens and maybe one day to get a, a, um, a, 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 a for it. Alongside dreams of becoming a professional golfer, Josh is also working on his other big hope for the future, a cure for stuttering, by taking part in a groundbreaking new study into the genetics of the condition. Uh, so, I, uh, so what I had to do um, to participate in this study was I had to um, do a survey online and then I got a uh, mailed a package with a tube and you had and basically I had to spit in the tube. Josh's contribution forms a small but vital part of the study which aims to source 3,000 samples of DNA from people who stutter. We understand that stuttering is likely genetic because as many as 70% of people who experience stuttering have a family member who also stutters. 70% is a really high number, so it's really much higher than for many other speech or language disorders that we know. So there's something quite special about the genetic basis of stuttering. Speech pathologist Professor Angela Morgan is part of the Australian team involved in the international study. Around one in ten children experience a stutter in the preschool years, but then luckily around 80% of children will recover either naturally or with therapy. So we hope that for those people for whom current therapies don't work, that the new or novel therapies we would be able to develop will be much more effective. When I came home today, I didn't really know what I would expect. 
after two weeks with my grandma. Josh loves to read and write fiction. He recently delivered his first proper speech to classmates and all the signs suggest he'll be one of the eight in ten children able to fully cure their stutter through hard work and therapy. Oh, he's come such a long way. This is a child that could not say his own name and to give a speech at school, we could not be prouder. But for those who can't be helped by traditional techniques, the gene study offers a source of hope, one that all families affected by a stutter will understand. Any time I see a child that seems to have a stutter or a stammer, all I think about is the way that Daisy's life would be today if she still had that, sight, that symptom. I've never done that before. I put my emotions were on a knife's edge. I was crying inside. I... Josh has been through so much with this. There's been the bullying, there's been the tears. So I've seen the negatives, the positives. It's just been, it's been a journey. When people like uh, say negative things about my speech, I get annoyed at them. But then I also explain to them, like I have, I have this speech issue. It's, it's just, it's not me trying to be funny or anything. It's just me being me.